poor baby got abandoned. I'm waiting for reinforcements. settled in. Hey Maverick. Hey sweet Maverick. He's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. My sweet Maverick. Okay. This is day one of a baby deer that we found stranded and abandoned in the woods, crying out. And apparently it had been there for days because the first time we heard it was Sunday and today is Friday. So we don't know what happened to its mother. And we thought this one might not survive because he couldn't even hold his head up. But he's perking up with some water and some goat's milk and removal of ticks when he's beginning and also just the care because he's been alone for days apparently just laying in a section of the woods unable to move unable to get up we still don't know if he can walk but he can hold his head up now so chances are he was just way too weak we're thinking that Maybe his mother left him at birth and that he's been there all that time, but we can't say for sure. And we, and she, it could be that she was sick or hit by a car or who knows. We've named him Maverick because we just saw um, Top Gun 2 with Tom Cruise as Maverick yesterday and um, Maverick is survivor <laughs> no matter what he made it through and so it seemed timely and appropriate to name this little guy Maverick. First time standing up. Yeah. Oops. And walking just a little. Let's yeah. see if he wants some food. Anita, what do you want me to do? Oops, it's dripping. It's dripping. There you go, yes. He wants to stand in there. Just like little mama. <laughs> yes. Wow. Just 
Sadly, in the middle of the first night, we discovered that sweet baby Maverick passed away. We were hopeful that he would make it because he had shown such positive signs of recovery from the nurturing and nutrients. However, beyond emaciation, it appeared he had some kind of neurological issue from the moment we first picked him up that appeared like a form of seizure. Whether he was born with it or afflicted from being left alone for so long, we will never know. We deeply regret that we did not search for him when, we first, when first hearing his cry that Sunday. Living in the woods, we often hear all kinds of wildlife cries. However, the cry of that baby deer is now indelibly etched in our hearts, and we will never make that mistake again. We will always investigate to assess whether it is a baby in distress or just a normal, healthy fawn awaiting Mama Deer's return. If we had found him earlier, we might have been able to save him, so that's tough to live with. However, we're ever grateful to have had a full day to love, care for, and nurture this sweet fawn. He clearly responded to the care and knew that for that day, his last day on earth, he was safe, cared for, and deeply loved.